Hey everyone and welcome back to Shaving with Jimbo. Today we're going to cover some of the changes that I've made in my shaving system since last you saw me in both in products and in prep. I'm always really looking for ways to experiment or revise or update or streamline the overall shaving experience. This has honestly become kind of a hobby of mine that I genuinely look forward to at the end of a long day. Just kind of relax, unwind, let the day unfold and enjoy a casual, leisurely wet shave. For those of you fellows out there who've never had the experience of a wet shave at all and you've only done electric shaving, you honestly don't know what you're missing. If you don't like it in the end, great, but I think every grown man should try this at least once as it's really just something that you have to experience to really understand. So before we get into the shave itself, we're gonna go ahead and cover some of the prep and products changes, so stay tuned. Okay, we're back here at my sink, in my shaving bathroom as I like to call it. And we're just going to go over some of the small changes that I've made to my shaving system. Okay, as you can see, um, still sticking with the, uh, the Merker safety razor and the same tweezerman brush. That hasn't changed. Um, you can see that on my nice little stand. Love that little thing. Uh, still have my Old Spice shaving mug. Love this thing. Um, I did get myself a dish uh, for my soap for my shaving soap. So you can just kind of mix it in the bowl there and then transfer it to the Old Spice shaving mug. Um, so you can see I've got some different products that I've tried there, some of them you've seen before, some of them you haven't. So I'll just go over some of the changes that I've made. Okay, today we're going to be trying out Urban Cowboys Shave Cream. As previously shown in one of my earlier videos, um, I'm definitely a big fan of Urban Cowboy Aftershave Lotion. I think it's great, it's the best one I've tried so far. So I liked it so much, I thought I'd give their shaving cream a try, so we'll see how they do. This is the, uh, the dusk formula. Okay, another change that we're going to try, and this will be the first time that I've done this um, at all, um, this is Pacific Shaving Company's All Natural Shaving Oil. Uh, according to their product specifications, you can either use this completely in lieu of shaving cream or, uh, or shaving soap at all, or you can actually use it as a base to put under the shaving cream uh, slash shaving soap. Um, I think I'm going to go the latter of the two and just use this as a base to kind of uh, take that one step further and help lubricate my skin. So we'll see how they do on that. Another thing that I've added here, let me get this out of the way. Some of you may know what this is. Uh, this is a hot pot uh, by the Rival Company. Um, this isn't really normally used for shaving, but it's actually used to heat up um, water for soup um, in, in most, uh, most situations. Um, just doesn't cost a lot of money. You can get this at your local Walmart or Target store for probably $15 or so. And basically what it does is it rapidly heats the water much faster on the stove or virtually anything else. Um, it works on electricity, as you can see by the plug here. And it, it heats the water to, I mean, if you want it to, a rolling boil in like a minute or two. So what I use it for is to basically get the water nice and hot so that I can uh, both heat up my towel that I use on my face, and I also use it um, while I'm letting the shaving mug with the shaving uh, soap and cream and whatnot sitting in the sink. I put a little bit in there to further heat up the lather so that I can enjoy uh, that nice hot lather foam. So that's about it as far as the changes. So what do you say we go ahead and get into the shave? Okay, so as always, we're gonna start off with a hot towel prep. Okay, now that the hot pot is ready, we're gonna go ahead and take that hot water brewing in there and apply it to our towel. You don't need much, just a little bit. We save some of the some of that nice hot water for later. Now that we got our whew, very hot. Nice hot towel. Whew, that's hot. Just hold it right up to your face. Oh my good lord, that's hot. Shouldn't be burning your skin, folks. Don't get me wrong, but it should definitely be really hot. Get those pores opened up there. Okay, now we're going to repeat that process two more times. And of course, not forgetting, we have to soak our shaving brush in a nice hot water bath in the shaving mug. Okay, now we're going to take our brush and our shaving soap and start to build the base lather. Doesn't take long, just a minute or two. Okay, now we got our base lather. We'll transfer that to our shaving mug here. Just start building the lather in there. If it's too dry to start with, just get a few drops of water in there, not much. You don't want to saturate it because then the, the shaving lather becomes runny and that's the last thing you want, you want it thick. There we go. 
Okay, now that we've got a nice rich base going, uh, we're going to take our shaving oil and add it to the mixture. We're only going to add a few drops of the shaving oil here as that's what's recommended by the manufacturer uh, for a complete shave. So definitely use sparingly. Okay, now we're going to mix the oil into the lather here. And finally, we're going to add our shaving cream. So now we're going to re-wet the face and get to shaving. As I mentioned before, I enjoy listening to music while I do my shaving. I tend to go a little bit more of the classic route as I feel it kind of suits the overall experience. Uh, last time we did a little bit of classical, today what do you say we jazz it up a little bit and go with some old school 20s jazz. Okay, as always, we're going to start with, with the grain. As you can see, as far as the technique I'm using that's changed from last time, I'm not doing one continuous stroke, I'm doing some follow-up stroke, strokes with it, as I'm a lot more comfortable uh, with using a uh, double-edged safety razor now. So. Kind of light and gentle is the name of the game. Oh, by the way, today we're using a uh, derby razor blade here. I've uh, been using these for a while. kind of like them. Every time you hear the hissing, by the way, that's the, uh, the uh, hot pot. Okay, finished with pass one, we're going to go ahead and re-lather and start on pass two, which is against the grain. Don't forget to reheat your shave mug and lather with each pass. So heat up the mug, do your pass, go ahead and clean your face off, reheat the mug, get ready for the next pass. Okay, what I've done for this pass is I've actually taken some of the shave oil, uh, rubbed a little bit in my hand, and I'm applying it directly to my face uh, before I apply the lather. So you get kind of like a, like a base coat, I guess you could say going so your skin's nice and oily and looped. Okay, and then we'll apply our hot lather. I always have to do that one diagonal pass right there. Just seem to have a patch that grows real funky right there. Okay, now we're going to rinse off with nice cold water, get those pores nice and closed up, then we're going to apply our aftershave lotion. 
Another new thing I like to do is take a cold towel as opposed to a hot towel and uh, apply it to my face after I'm done rinsing off just to get my uh, skin nice and cold. Anything to get those pores closed so you lock out any razor burn, cuts, irritation, anything like that. And honestly it just feels good, you know, the cold after the, after the nice hot shave. Kind of cools you off, get your skin nice and smooth, good stuff. Okay, and as before, we're going to be using our Urban Cowboy Natural Grooming Dusk Aftershave Lotion. Still love this stuff. The key is with aftershave lotion, you definitely want to rub it in good. You know, just giving it a couple passes usually isn't enough. You kind of want to massage it into the skin there so it gets into your pores. All right. Well, nice and baby smooth there. A uh, big thumbs up to the Pacific Shaving Company's All Natural Shaving Oil. Uh, it's the first time I've used it here, and just having that extra layer of protection underneath your your shaving lather honestly really seemed to help kind of smoothen out and enhance the overall shaving experience. So please go ahead and check them out. And for a complete list of all the products that I've used in this video, just go ahead and check out your description bar below. Many of them can be found at your local stores. Some that you can order online, but none of them cost a lot of money. Well, thanks everyone so much for tuning into this episode of Shaving with Jimbo. And remember, keep your razor sharp and your lather smooth. Take care.